Ladies and gentlemen, the government's mission right now uh, and primary focus is to supercharge the Queensland economy. We are unequivocally, unapologetically about getting this state's economy on the move and particularly we are unapologetically in a race with other states and we want this to be the best place in Australia to do business. And as you heard from Paul, we have a four economic pillar strategy to really get behind the mainstays, the traditional pillars of Queensland, which are tourism, agriculture, uh, construction, and uh, of course, uh, uh, property. And what we're doing is making sure that in each of those industry sectors that we are doing everything we can to get them on the move. I particularly acknowledge uh, Shane and Daniel this morning because one of the exciting little stories that's going on right now is that people are coming back to this state for uh, holidays and for business. And uh, we're seeing some very good, solid build-up of those numbers. And late last year, uh, we saw an 8% increase in visitations to the state across the board, and importantly, a 9% increase in the spend. When they start to come here, ladies and gentlemen, they realise what a great place it is. They want to, if they're a business traveller, come back and with the, with the kids and, and have a holiday. Uh, if uh, they're from overseas, they obviously see how great it is and they might want to buy an apartment or invest in a multi-million dollar resort. So once we get them here, uh, we then start to build off the back of that. So it's really encouraging that we're seeing tourism start to move. And that bodes well for construction. And particularly today, I say to you that we are determined to get the property development construction sector going. There are many things that the government has done already, working with peak groups like the Property Council, the HIA, um, the UDIA, uh, and master builders to try and free up the industry, to get rid of the red tape and bureaucracy that had so clearly stifled it going back about uh, three or four years ago. And so we're now saying very clearly that we are open for business in that sector. One of the next initiatives that kicks off at the end of next month, the end of June, uh, is SARA, the, which is the state, um, let me get the acronym right, the State Assessment and Referral Agency in the Deputy Premier, uh, Premier's Office, which is all about a one-stop shop where SARA will take the responsibility and ensure that the various uh, requirements of state government agencies are, con are coordinated. And why is that, ladies and gentlemen? Because in the past, particularly with the previous government, uh, developers were dealing with a maze of conflicting requirements. Uh, literally, uh, people were being tied up by a state government that couldn't make a clear decision about various requirements for a development. And we expect, as well, that sort of attitude of can-do to actually get behind building construction to flow through to councils. A very strong message right now to mayors and councils that they are in charge of the grassroots implementation of these things, that we expect mayors and councils to do the right thing to get people back to work on building sites by approving development under the new frameworks that we've delivered. But let me now turn to, to Quest and to the decision by Paul uh, and his team to invest here, but perhaps even more excitingly, to announce that they are also uh, delivering five more sites uh, over the next uh, year or so uh, in various centres across Queensland to invest in Mackay uh, and uh, Rockhampton and Townsville uh, to also have uh, Mount Cravat and Willem Gabba going and then delivered is a fantastic piece of news today. Uh, and it shows again that there is a need there, that there is a need to provide the high quality business accommodation that Quest is so particularly renowned for. Uh, in a past life, uh, as a business traveller, uh, that Quest uh, brand was something that was right up there for me and I knew that I could have a comfortable uh, place to, to base myself in particularly when I spent many years travelling to Melbourne, uh, building infrastructure in the port in that city. Uh, and so I, I think today is just a very important step for the group with this 150th <coughs> project going forward. Let's not forget, though, that there have been jobs in construction, and let's not forget the 120 full and part-time jobs for particularly young people in the hospitality industry associated with this project and of course there'll be other projects that I've mentioned. Uh, that's ultimately what it's about ladies and gentlemen. 
real jobs for Queenslanders and particularly jobs for young Queenslanders. So I really want to thank Quest and Paul and his team for making this decision. Uh, Sam, congratulations to you, to you and your team. When I was Lord Mayor, I remember well the approval process that we went through to, to get this project on the go. Um, hopefully, if you were making that decision today, it will be far more uh, efficient and swift and effective for you. And in fact, I'm pretty confident that will be the case. Ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate all the skilled men and women in professions and trades that delivered the project, uh, that actually built this with their hands. And with those few words, I take great pleasure in declaring Quest Apartments uh, here at Breakfast Creek formally open. Thank you for coming today.